the real stress and the real fights come from the mortgage, come from this stress of home. So that's something that I've grew up with. That was a big stress in my family. It caused a lot of stress, so. Now they, now they have their feet up, they can relax, they can, they are in a new place, so it's good. That's, that's something I always dreamed of. I always, I always visualize what giving would feel like, giving to people who have given to me, what that would feel like. I always dreamed of just showing up one day and be like, here, and that would always give me like good feelings. It's crazy how things just form, dreams just form into reality. This is the law of attraction, you know, you have to, in, in the struggle, you know, you, when, when things are going good and you visualize these good things happening, you visualize more good things happening, that's easy. What's not easy to do is when things are going bad and you're visualizing the good stuff. Even though I, I was having these troubles at home and even though I had no real, I had no job, no, you know what I mean, or whatever, I still was able to feel like it was. I still was able to go into a different, just like might use my imagination, like a kid would use his imagination. I was basically just using my imagination. And I swear to God, sitting in the traffic and all, I visualized, I'm sitting here holding the steering wheel, visualizing a brand new car, I'm visualizing good things in, in, in times of struggle. And that, that, when you can do that, I think that really makes the, 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 that law of attraction work. I think it really attracts to you more. You know what I mean? Because that is harder to do when you're in the struggle to, to visualize these things. This is from LeBron. He posted your quote. There's no talent here. This is hard work. This is an obsession. Talent does not exist. We are all equals as human beings. And then it's all about just its dedication and time and obsession. I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any, anything else, if you are obsessed, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And, and to see LeBron James, who's like a mega uh, superstar over here and a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, share um, that belief is, is inspiring right back to me. It, it shows that we are thinking correct. You know, this is, this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. In any, whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday. There was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, let's talk about this and let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it. I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number, or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. I cannot pay attention to nothing else. I always knew I only need one chance. I always felt I was better than everybody. I always felt all I needed was to get in there once, just give me one shot and I'll take it home. It's about getting better. Nothing else matters except me showing up at the gym every single day and putting in the work to get better. Now it's there. Now all these dreams that I've been having are actually there in front of me. So I walk, I walk towards it. When you're chasing your dream and when you're, when you're working hard, chasing something you love and, and, and completely dedicated, it just, it just happens. You, don't, you, don't, you can't really not, notice it, you know, even still to this day. I'm in, a, in an amazing position in, in my life, but I'm still, I'm still working like I'm not. People can get comfortable with a, with a win and, and, and slack off then, slack off on the training, slack off on the diet, they've won one. They're winners now. That's not me, you know, you sleep, on a, you sleep on a win and you'll wake up with a loss. So I just carry on, keep doing what I'm doing. And that's why this turnaround is so good for me.